Is your dog's unwavering stare a sign of affection or a cry for help? How can you tell the difference? We'll break down the various reasons dogs stare and offer tips on how to respond, ensuring a harmonious relationship with your pup. Reason 1. Dogs sometimes use eye contact to let you know how they feel, and a lot of the time, it's to say that they love you. A dog's loving gaze has been found to release a feel-good hormone known as oxytocin in both you and your dog. This hormone helps you both feel happy and relaxed and helps you develop and maintain that close emotional bond that makes your relationship so special. So when you look at your dog lovingly and they look back into your eyes, it's likely that they're letting you know that the feeling is mutual. Dogs tend to use this look when they are feeling relaxed, so it's important to never force your dog to stare you in the eye, as it's unlikely that they'll interpret this in a positive way. Reason 2. Dogs are very good at understanding us. Your dog watches your body language and looks at your facial expressions to help them recognize what you're thinking and feeling. They rely on you for everything like food, water, cuddles, exercise, and even when and where to go to the toilet. Understanding your behavior helps them work out what's going on and what's going to happen next. Dogs are excellent at remembering our daily habits, but will often stare at us to try to piece together our actions. So if you go to the front door, are you going to collect the post, leave the house, or take them for a walk? As well as watching you carefully, they most likely use their other senses to gain extra information. They listen to the tone of your voice, and they may even use their incredible sense of smell and taste to work out how you're feeling by licking your face and hands. Reason 3 Your dog may often appear to be a fantastic mind reader, but since they don't speak our language, it must be very difficult for them to always understand what's going on. Sometimes, your dog may be staring at you because they simply don't have a clue what's happening or what they're expected to do. By looking at you closely, it helps them collect information to understand more about their situation. If you've asked your dog to do something and they just stare at you, it might not be that they're being stubborn, but they may just need another hint from you to help them know what to do. Reason 4 If, like many other dogs, yours is obsessed with food, then they may be staring at you because they want a piece of whatever food you're eating. Giving your dog some of your food when they show you their sad eyes face is a difficult habit to break. But if you find this irresistible, you could train your dog to settle close to you while you eat and maybe chew on a bone or play with a food puzzle or keep them in a separate room while you eat. Reason 5. If your dog stares at you while they're going to the toilet, it could be because they feel vulnerable and are looking to you for reassurance and protection. While they are pooing, dogs are relatively defenseless and not in a position to fight or run away from any threats. If your dog stares at you while they poo, take it as a compliment that they are looking to you as their trusted protector to keep an eye out for danger. It's useful to calmly talk to them to show them all is okay. Also, you could add a cue word, such as toilet, so the dog can come to associate this with a safe place to go. Reason 6. If you're training your dog and they are staring at you, it may be that they're waiting for their next clue as to what to do. A well-trained dog is eager to be told what their next activity should be, and staring is their way of asking what they're supposed to be doing. If your dog is watching you closely, then it means that they're focused on you rather than what's around them. Let's discuss some alarming reasons. Reason 1. Sometimes, particularly in older dogs, a dog that is regularly staring at their owner or is staring into space could be a sign of a form of dementia. If they seem confused, keep having accidents inside the house, are showing signs of memory loss or have changes in their behavior, activity or feeding and sleeping patterns, then you should speak to your vet for advice. 
Reason 2. As well as expressing love, a dog's stare can sometimes indicate that they are not happy. It's unlikely that your dog will give you this sort of assertive stare, but it may be reserved for other dogs that they feel threatened by. It's usually accompanied by a stiff, upright body and a stillness. If a dog gives you an aggressive look that you feel threatened by, it's important that you do not stare back at them and that you give them plenty of space and keep your distance. If your dog exhibits this sort of behavior towards you or has displayed this behavior towards other dogs, then you should consider talking to a behaviorist. Reason 3. Another serious concern linked to a dog's fixed stare is obsessive compulsive disorder. Dogs with OCD might exhibit repetitive behaviors, such as fixating on a wall or object for extended periods without any clear reason. Additionally, partial or absent seizures can lead to episodes where a dog appears to freeze and becomes unresponsive. If your dog frequently exhibits unusual or persistent staring, it's crucial to consult with a veterinarian to rule out any health issues and ensure their well-being. Moreover, some people speculate about a more intriguing possibility that dogs might be perceiving things beyond human perception. Many pet owners have noted their dogs staring into empty spaces as if tracking something invisible, sparking curiosity and sometimes fear of supernatural encounters. While dogs do possess heightened senses, particularly in hearing and smell, which allow them to detect sounds or scents beyond our capacity, some people believe in the notion of dogs sensing the supernatural. Regardless of the cause, observing how dogs react to stimuli, we can't detect underscores, their complex and sensitive nature. Should you stare back at your dog? The answer is not straightforward. Eye contact with your dog can build trust and strengthen your bond. However, staring at your dog, especially in a fixed or intense way, can be misunderstood. In the dog world, prolonged staring can be seen as a challenge or threat, which might make your dog uncomfortable or defensive. Instead of staring, try gentle eye contact. This approach fosters positive interactions and is better for training or bonding. Use soft eye contact to show attention and affection and reward your dog for making eye contact with you. This reinforces the behavior as positive. The goal is to build a relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. By using eye contact wisely, you can show love and guidance without causing stress or discomfort. So, instead of a stare down, offer a kind glance or gentle look to communicate in a way your dog understands. Understanding why your dog stares, whether for attention, affection, curiosity, or confusion can deepen your bond. Each gaze is a chance to connect more deeply. Next time your dog looks at you for a long time, think about what they might be expressing. It's about how we respond that strengthens the bond of respect and affection in our relationship with our dogs. Some dogs stare at walls. The most common reason is that they're simply tired or daydreaming. It might also be a compulsive habit, similar to spinning in circles. Another possibility is that your dog hears something behind the wall, like rats or bugs, since dogs can hear much better than us. The worst case scenario is a health issue, such as cognitive dysfunction syndrome, similar to Alzheimer's or focal seizures, which can cause blank staring. And Though it's a bit far-fetched, some might think your dog could be sensing a ghost. Now, on to another behavior that might seem odd, tail wagging. Most people think tail wagging always means happiness, but that's not always the case. Dogs also wag their tails when they're nervous, curious, or even aggressive. If their tail is low and wagging slowly, they're likely nervous. If it's straight out and wagging slightly, they're probably curious. If it's high and wagging stiffly, they might be aggressive. Interestingly, 
scientists have found that the direction of a dog's tail wagging could reflect their mood. Dogs wagging to the right might be friendlier, while those wagging to the left could be more anxious. Finally, let's talk about paw licking. While it's normal for dogs to groom themselves by licking their paws, excessive licking could be a sign of problems. If your dog licks one paw a lot, it might have an injury or something stuck between its pads. If the licking seems like it's due to itchiness, it could be allergies, skin issues, or parasites. Sometimes, it's just boredom or anxiety. If your dog is licking its paws frequently, it's a good idea to consult your vet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell.